So a lot of times when you're doing uh, financial modeling in Excel, you're going to have different scenarios or any sort of modeling really for a business. Um, when you're forecasting or projecting or estimating, a lot of times you won't just have one guess, right? You'll have two or three. You'll have an optimistic case, you'll have an average case or a base case, and you'll have a down case. So if you're wrong and everything goes wrong, what happens? Um, you know, when you're doing this type of stuff for your managers, there's three things I like to consider to, to make your model good. You got to make it clear. So in one cell, there shouldn't be too many for, formulas. You should definitely color code uh, your hard codes and your formulas. Also important to make it visible, right? So, um, you know, you, if, if there's a printout of your spreadsheet, will the person that has it be able to make all the calculations they need based on that printout? So in my modeling basics on, uh, you know, the database on ingredients, right? Based on, you know, the database I could print out for the person and these uh, ingredients lists, I can check to see, uh, you know, with my pencil and paper if I'm right or not. Um, you don't want to do things like use Scenario Manager, which is a, an Excel you know, built-in function, but I don't like it because, you know, if it's printed out, um, it's hard for people to, to, to see. Also, you got to make it traceable. So using built-in functions like Scenario Manager aren't great because uh, if someone that's new to Excel or just not as advanced as you are uh, goes into your Excel workbook and, and sees you know, a scenario and they don't know how to change it or they don't know how to modify it or they don't even recognize that there are multiples in there, or multiple scenarios in there, it's a big problem. So I like to make everything traceable. Most of the stuff that I do will be in links. Um, you'll be able to see clearly by auditing that link where everything's coming from um, and, and what to do with it or what I did with it. So uh, that said, how do you build a, a scenario switcher without doing the scenario manager tool in Excel? Well, for this case, we're just going to do something simple. We're going to build uh, a scenario where the upcase, the revenue grows, the average case, the revenue stays the same, and the down case, you know, the revenue doesn't grow at all. So um, we are going to do this here. Uh, we're going to build out the scenario manager first. So basically, we have a upcase, average, and down case. And this is going to be a 10% growth. This is going to be 0% growth. And this is going to be negative 10% growth. All right. Um, so now these are our, our uh, scenarios. Now we need to be able to switch. So we're going to switch from those scenarios. Uh, and we're going to do a data list validation for this. So data validation. We're going to do the list. And we're going to select from this list. So now I can pick which scenario I want, but nothing's happening still. Scenario, was, uh, scenario, revenue, growth. Okay. So now based on the scenario, I want to pick the result, what I'm going to get. So I'm going to do a VLOOKUP on this scenario. In this table, second column, and I want an exact match. So now, uh, if it's in the up case scenario, I've got 10%. In an average case, I've got zero. And down case, I've got negative 10%. Great. So let's um, you know copy these starting financials down here, and I'm going to change this let's see, revenue line based on the year. So this is base year. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five years out. Um, this is e going to be equal to one plus the growth rate to the first power to calculate that growth for that year. Uh, so after the first year, it's 4,500, second year is 4050, third year is 3645. And just to check it, I'll do a rate formula here. Zero, negative. And I should get the same answer. Great. So now I'm going to copy this over. And then my costs, I'll just say are the same no matter what. I can do costs as a percentage of sales if I want to. If I want to do costs as a percent of sales, I'll do 30% because when revenue goes down, my cost will be lower. I can do 
that. So now my costs are you know, 30% of sales every year. And I've got now what the scenario looks like. So at $4,500 in sales, my profit you know, goes down a bit. This should be, there we go. Okay, so uh, at negative 10% growth, I lose this much in profit every year. My you know, cost kager, everything goes down at 10% because my cost percentage stays the same. So that's how I would run a basic scenario switcher. Let's say I wanted to do the up case. Now, now this is growing at 10%. I'm going to bring this back so I can just keep that check in there. So now it's growing at 10%. Great. All right. So what happens if I change uh, this, the title to this? So that I, my, my manager doesn't know what up means. He just knows it's good. So I want to change this to uh, increases 10%. Revenue up 10%, revenue flat, revenue down 10%. So now that's a little bit more descriptive, and if my manager just sees the input here, they'll know which scenario it is and what the scenario is. Um, I'm pulling it here so they'll be able to see it, but this is a little bit more descriptive and manager safe. Even more manager safe is what happens if I change this to 15? Now, well, this still says revenue up 10%, but the scenario growth is 15%. So I want this to reflect the actual rate. So I'm going to do equals text with that value, and I'm going to put it in a percentage format. And then I'm going to do the and, to type a string in here. So now it should say X percent growth. Good. All right. So now this is a descriptive title that's dynamic. If I change this to 50, it's a 50% growth case. If I change this to 10, it's 10% growth case, and the title changes. So if my manager doesn't see this revenue growth line, and he just sees the title, he will know what the title is. I can change this to be scenario. And now if I choose the 10% growth scenario, this is what happens. So this is dynamic titling of my scenarios, and this will work in a lot of cases. Um, now, what if I have uh, two separate um, years that are completely different? It's not just based on an annual growth. They're just two separate separate buildups of uh, revenue. And I'll build something out, and then I'll fast forward. All right, so going back to my uh, oil change problem, problem four, uh, we have two buildups for this revenue case in year one and year two. We have the base year, you know, in the down case, the basic will have 50, 60, and uh, 50 in year two. So 50 this year, you know, in year one is 60, and year two is 50. In the second year, the supreme, you know, in the in the down case, uh, it'll be like this. Um, you know, th these are all hard codes. I just hard coded these in really quick. The FK should probably be better, so I'm going to have this be 150, 125, 140. And this be 70, 75, 85. Okay, so I've got two different scenarios. I've got an up case or a down case. How am I going to register what the revenue is? I want my revenue line here, and I'm going to have this go in for base one, two. So how do I pull in the revenue depending on which scenario I pick? So I'm going to have, again, my scenario picker here. Scenario, and I'll make a little box there to put my scenario in. I'm going to do a comp multiplication here. So based on, you know, equals if the scenario equals, I'm going to fix this cell, equals the down case, then this is going to be 1. And if it's not, it'll be 0. The same thing here. So now these are both zero. Let's say I put down case in here. Down case. Now this is one. If I put up case, now this is one. So if I just multiply this times this plus this times this, it should give me the right answer, right? This is the up case. So in the, in the, if I'm adding all these, these multiplications, the down case will give me 0, and the up case will give me 220. So I get 220. 
Same thing with here, I get 200 and 225 for my revenue. If I went down case, now it's giving me the top row. And this is not validated, right? I probably want a list of all the scenario options in here, but, uh, but for now this is pretty good, right? I can change up case and down case and get different revenue coming up. And that's a build up. So I can, I can add things in here. I can add, if I want to say uh, other, I can add 50, 40, 30, and that'll be incorporated because it's just adding this line. So now this total is 270 and my up case should be 270 here and it, and it worked. Um, so this is a, a quick example of some scenario management that you can do using simple formulas in Excel.